Just recently, YouTube introduced a new feature called branding intros, and I decided to do a quick video on it. I was curious if anyone out there knew what they were or how to use them. And if you don't, stay tuned. Hi, this is Edie, a virtually in sync and the video VA blog. Okay, what are branding intros and do I need to use them? That is the question. So I'm going to show you really quickly uh, how you can go about doing that. First, let me give you a brief explanation of what branding intros are. They are short video clips that appear at the beginning of your videos that can help you promote your channel. And this is um, one of the latest features that YouTube has introduced. And uh, to get started, it's basically um, a simple four-step process. First, you need to create a three-second intro, and you can do this on your own, or you can outsource it to Fiverr.com or some other source. Once you have the video, you then need to upload it. So you would come to your YouTube channel, click on Upload. You need to set your privacy to unlisted, and then you would select whatever the bumper was. And I've already selected my bumper, so I don't need to show you that process. It will upload. Note that the bumper has to be three seconds or less. Next, you need to go to your in video programming page and you can find that under your channel settings. And here we go. Now, if you don't know what in video programming is, I explain this in a completely different video, so we won't go through the details on that. But we will scroll down and you will see add a branding intro. So you click on that button and what happens is a new window will open and you will see whatever bumpers that you have that meet the requirements and length. So if you have any videos that are three seconds or less, they will come in this window. They will appear in this window. You then can select that video and click Save. So now, as you can see, you now have a branding video that you can use for your videos. The fourth and final step is, now that I've selected the correct video that I want to have appear in front of my videos, I need to decide which ones are going to feature this intro. So do I only want this to apply to uploads after a specific date, and then I specify what that date is, or do I want this to be on all of my uploads? I happen not to want it, but if I did, I would select, let's say if it was all uploads, and I'd hit upload. If for whatever reason you've done this, and this process takes a bit of time, so once, you know, some hours or a day or so goes by, and they've now applied themselves to all of your videos, if for whatever reason you want to change this, all you would have to do is select the Remove button. If for whatever reason you opt to have a different intro, all you would have to do is choose New Video in here, and again, you would need to go to the uh, video that's already in here. If you have not uploaded the video yet, and it's a new video that you have on your desktop, you can click click uploads, I can't speak today, and that will allow you to upload um, the video as well. Okay, YouTube has a few recommendations. They actually recommend that you do not change this intro too often because it will defeat the purpose of creating a consistent brand across your channel, and also they recommend highly that you do not, under any circumstances, use this intro as an advertisement, sponsorship, or product placement. So as long as you abide by the rules, you'll not get in trouble with YouTube. Okay, so let's recap. What have we discussed today? We discussed how to use branding intros. First, we created an intro. Second, we uploaded the video. Third, we added the video to our in-video programming page here. And last, we assigned the videos to either all of our videos or to only a select group. And that was here. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you choose to use it, 
Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and whether you thought this was helpful to you. I look forward to hearing from you and see you later. Thank you.